Hi everyone, it's Sandy. I have a fun do-it-yourself project for you guys that you can make yourself. And these are do-it-yourself uh, file page tab dividers um, that you can use without using a die cutting machine or a die. And what's great about these do-it-yourself uh, file tabs, with the die, when you run it through your cutting machine, you only cut the shape that that die is. Whereas with these ones that um, I'm gonna show you, you can make them in any length, any height or any shape that you like and I've got here these samples and I'm going to show you how you can make these as well you can see all the different tabs that you can make and these are great to add to your junk journals or your planner pages and I'm also going to show you other project ideas that you could use these sort of tabs for as well um, in the video but um, you can see that they're really fun shapes and I've already punched out a few more here just so you can see. So there's that one there. These are the same that's on the on the um, sample here, but I just want to show you the ones that aren't already stuck on the uh, cardstock. So these are the different ones. There's this one here. And just use your scraps to make these. You don't have to use um, new papers, just use your scraps any size you don't have to measure out your papers so another great way to use up your scraps that's another one so they're just some of the ones that I've made and I'll show you some other projects you could use your tab shapes for so I've uh, well this is actually a die but when you make these tabs you can do it the same way you can alter your paper clips and then make them um, like this with, uh, and embellish your papers and then add your tab onto your paper clip and it's another cute way to use up use these tab shapes you could also make them for bag toppers this is a bag topper and it's a long one so you can make your tabs to whatever uh, length your packaging is so that's that these die cuts in here, uh, these are my designs. I'm still trying to perfect the images or the drawings that I've made here. I'm going to have these in my Etsy store so you could also add these to your project. So I'm still working on these, but when I get it right, I will hopefully have them available by September. These cute little flower die cuts. So that's just another way you could... Um, use your tab shapes i also made a really cute embellishment as well again i just use my scraps and the tab is just here on the end i'll just flip that over so you can see it's uh this one here so it's this one here and you can see it's a different shape but it's the same way when you uh, make the tabs this one's just not as wide as this one and not as sh uh, short as this one. This is a little bit higher. Let's just see if you can so turn it that way so you can see. And then I just use a We Are Memory Keepers eyelet to decorate the uh, tab and added some charms. So you can also do that to with your page tabs as well. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how you can make these. Uh, so what you need, you just need uh, some paper punches. Uh, you just need a circle shape punch. Um, if you have any circle uh, punch, these are the sizes that I have. And I've used all these different sizes for these. And it doesn't really matter. They all work the same way. It's just a different, slightly different in size when you punch it. But it'll still look like a tab. This one here is a quarter of an inch size uh, this one is a three quarter of an inch size this one is just under an inch um, circle but you can also use a one inch circle if you have a one inch circle it just means uh, you'll have to use to make your tabs you'll have to make them a little bit wider in length it wouldn't be uh, uh, what do you call it? Won't be, might not be possible for the shorter length tabs but we can try that and if you have a square punch a little square one this one here is a half an inch square so if you have one of these 
or a uh, one inch square or less we can use that and i'll show you how to make that which is this one this one here so we can do that as well and you'll also need a corner rounder punch this is a we are memory keepers uh, corner rounder punch and you get three different sizes and with this one you can use any size so you can use any size corner rounder punch as well so if you if you just have one circle punch and a corner rounder punch that's all you need to create these sort of tabs it just be slightly different and if you have a square we could also you could also make a tabs so let's make i'll just show you the simple ones first so this one here you just did a circle punch and you just fold it in half and then you just uh, adhere it to the edge of your paper this one is the same this is just a, a one inch strip by two inches or less and you just fold it in half and then you've got yourself a tab just like that and this is the one we'll make this one first so what you need to do to make this one you're just going to grab your piece of paper any piece i'm going to use this one here and you just fold it in half so when you're making your tabs you're just simply folding it in half uh, with whatever size shape paper you have and then you're going to get your corner around a punch and whatever size you have we're going to corner around the part where it's folded on one end and the other side and then you'll corner around that top bit and this part here with the flap you're going to grab your circle punch this is the uh, three quarter of an inch circle punch and I'll just open it up and you're going to slide both the papers in and you just want to punch it about a quarter of the circle shape so about there and then you punch and then you do the same to the other side and just sort of eyeball the same distance and then you punch that out and there you've got your tab and then you can also add it to your cardstock and you can also create a tag shape as well. So that's just another way to do that one. And this one is the same, oh, actually I haven't done that one. So this one, all you need to do is just grab a piece of paper. And again, this is just a one inch by two inches. You just fold that in half and you just use your corner around a punch. Again, whatever side you like. And you just do that to the part that's folded and then you'll have a curve and then this part here they're just little strips of paper scrap papers and you just adhere it to oh, i've got this one here I'll use that one and you just adhere it to the bottom this one might be a little too wide i'll just cut this one out make it a little bit and then i just corner around using my smaller size corner around a punch and we'll just get some glue and we're just going to place it on the edge here this one's a little bit too long and hopefully my glue will come out so I'm just going to apply a little bit of glue to here and you just place your little piece. Am I a little bit too long? So you place one on one side and then you place the other one to the back. The same size and then you'll have a tab like this for that one and it just looks like that or you can have it on the side so that's that one and now we'll go ahead and we're going to this one here is straightforward it's, it's the same as this one folding it in half and do your corner uh use a corner rounder this one here what we're going to do again just grab another piece of paper folding that in half and we're going to use a circle punch um, 
doesn't matter which one i'm just going to use the same one i'll just use the three uh, the three quarter inch circle punch for all of the page tabs so again you just go with the part that's folded you're going to slide your uh, punch again about a quarter of the way in and press that down and do the same to the other side and just roughly getting it the same and there you have a tab I'll just place it on here so you can see it's easy to do so that one is this one this one here is the same as that one it's just a longer piece and at the bottom here I used a decorative scissors just to decorate the edge just to give it a bit more uh, decoration to the tab so I won't do that one because that one's pretty straightforward and this one here we're going to make this one here so I'll grab another piece I'll just use this one uh, folding that in half again and what we're going to do here we're going to do exactly the same as this one by punching it again around a quarter of an inch on the folded side of the tab and do that and then do that again we're going to grab the your, your corner rounder punch and we're going to corner around oh, sorry uh both the bottom part like that and the same to the other side and there you have another different shape tab i'll show you on here so that's how that looks like you can have it up there as well if you want so that's that one go ahead now i'll do this one here Put that so you can see. So this one here is the same as that one. It's just smaller. That's smaller than this one. This one we're going to use the square punch, which you, the square punch I'm using is the half. Oh, sorry, it's the half an inch. Yes, half an inch size square. So on the part that's folded here. You're going to grab your uh, punch and you're going to turn it uh, sideways and you can just line up your paper wherever you like and the great thing about this you can li it'll line up nicely and straight so I'm going to line mine onto the edge of that one and about halfway up and then it'll give me that I'm going to turn it around this way, do it the same when lighting the paper. Just a bit more. So I'm going to slide that in and line it to the edge of that and about halfway down. And there you create a tab corner straight corner tab and then that goes on like that and you can punch a hole here and add some twine or string or some dangles so that's that one and this one here uh, I'll grab a paper that's easy for you to see right, so I'll just use this one here fold that one over I might grab a slightly longer one so that we can fold that over. Okay, so to do this one here, we're going to get the corner around a punch and we're going to use a corner around a punch on the folded part. So there you have the fold apart corner rounded and on the bottom here we're going to grab your circle punch and we're going to go in again about a quarter of the way in and do that and then do the same to the other side and 
and there you have a cute little tab and that can go on like that or sideways so that's that one and for those that don't have any circle punches or corner round a punch you could just simply make your tab with just a pair of scissors and we can just angle the corners to make a tag a tab a tab sorry so we're just gonna cut that like that without cutting your fingers so you've done that now hold on to that piece we're going to turn it over and bring it to this side and we're going to use that as a template on the other end so you have even angles on both sides and there you have a tab without using a punch or a die with just using a pair of scissors and that creates a tab so there are just ways you can make your tabs without a die cutting machine or a die just by using a circle punch a corner round a punch and if you have a square punch you can also make one with a square punch or just a pair of scissors or you don't have to use any tools at all and you can just fold them in half and just have these little strips and fold, folding them in half to make yourself a little tab like that so these are just some fun ways i hope you enjoyed this do-it-yourself page tab tutorial and i hope you use these on your projects and i'll see you all soon bye